Hi, I'm Bill, and I'm the chair of the Greenwood County Democratic Party. These are my Monday musings for March 22nd. When I first decided to run for chair earlier in 2020, I took some time to reflect on why I wanted to run and what my vision would be for leading a local political party. After some brainstorming, I categorized my ideas into four pillars, education, communication, unification, and participation. Today, I'm going to talk about education, as in being informed about the policies and laws that indeed affect our lives. There's many ways to learn about what's happening. Um, newspapers, television, social media, which is probably the worst way to learn, by the way. I want to share with you one of my favorite ways to stay abreast of the world of politics, and that's podcasts. Whether I'm driving or doing yard work or home chores or even out for a run, I take advantage of that time to listen to a set of free podcasts that I subscribe to. Although some are more of a liberal leaning slant, they are all well researched and rarely delve into unwarranted hyperbole. I'm going to quickly share with you the ones that I currently listen to. If you have an iPhone, all of these should be available in iTunes. I have an Android phone and use the free app Podcast Addict. If you are completely new to podcasting and need help getting started, give me a holler. I'll be happy to help. There are a number of podcasts that are specific to South Carolina. South Carolina Lead is run by the South Carolina Public Radio and is hosted by Gavin Jackson. He's got interviews, news campaign updates, and more in about 30 minutes or less, and publishes about twice a week. Bourbon in the Back Room is an often amusing behind-the-scenes look at what goes on in Columbia, and it's hosted by former state senators Vincent Shaheen and Joel Lurie. These release about once a week. Clyburn Chronicles features our favorite South Carolina congressman as he dives into history and race relations with various guests. You only get one a month, but they are definitely well worth the wait. Podmetto Politics. These guys are unabashedly liberal. Uh, they're younger activists from Greenville, including former Greenwoodian, Chris Fideli, uh, they provide an unfiltered view of what it's like being blue in a red state. They put out an episode about once a month, but are usually far more active during election cycles. Understand SC. This is a weekly production of the Post and Courier where they dive into topics specific to our state. Nationally, I listen to 538 Politics. This is where they crunch the numbers and polling data. I like a lot Freakonomics Radio. Technically, it's not a strict political podcast, but they do cover some odd topics that fall in the realm of economics and policy. And then Pod Save America, hosted by former Obama aides, they score some top notch interviews and help you arm yourself against the BS you typically hear from the other side. And finally, the Bakari Sellers podcast. This South Carolina native conducts interviews and provides commentary about twice a week with a focus primarily on black culture and issues, but his interview style and the guests that he attracts should be heard by everybody. Well, that's my list. I'll have it posted with links on our website. What do you listen to? Is there anything you highly recommend? If so, drop me a note or comment right here in YouTube. I look forward to it. That's it for today's Monday Musings. Thanks for listening.